Hi everybody, my name is Allie Nickerson and today I'm going to show you how to use Google Slides for engagement. So I'm going to show you the basics in this video of how to get started with Google Slides, some of the cool features, and then I have a ton of templates for you guys to browse through and get some ideas of how to use it in your own classroom. So we're going to start by going to slides.google.com. This will take you to all of your past slides presentations. Um, there are templates that Google has already here. So you can go through the template gallery to pick something. You can see all of your presentations. So let's say I wanted to make a project. I'm gonna click on science project. Now I have a template that's all ready to go and it looks so nice. You can also decide to go to slides.new by going to slides.new, slides will just open up a brand new presentation for you. So I'm gonna show you some of the ways that slides can be really engaging. If you want to give this to students as like a self-paced Pear Deck or give it to them as an assignment on Google Classroom, you can always link back to different slides. So if I decide to add a link here, I could link it to a YouTube video that I want them to go watch about what the experiment is that we're doing in science, or I could link it back to a different slide. So like if slide seven is gonna tell about the experiment, kids can click on that and go to slide seven. A lot of the presentations in Blueprint are Google Slides presentations. Kids don't even need to go on the internet when they're working within slides. They can just find images and insert them from Google straight into their presentation. So students can add pictures, they can link websites, YouTube videos, different slides. They can work collaboratively on this. In the Google Docs video, I showed how when another person is working on your same document, you can see their face up here it will show a little picture of them and you can see where they're working so you could use Google Slides to be a collaborative project for students in small groups but for engagement students can decide when students or you can decide when you want a new slide you can decide what this looks like here so if I decide I want this one I can add text here and I could link things I could also go to insert and you can look up images you can look from the web and on the sidebar here, Google will pop up, Google Images, and you can insert any images that you want. Google does own YouTube, so you can insert video straight from YouTube. So if I do a search here, I can search within YouTube. And I could pick a video, let's just say I go with this one. Now my video is embedded within the slide. And another way that you could engage students with slides and the way that I would highly recommend is inserting videos of yourself teaching like I'm doing right now into Google Slides. So now I am able to clone myself. Here's my assignment for students. If they have questions, they can watch the video. They can talk to other students. They can come up to me in class, but I am presenting information through slides and this is pre-recorded so now I'm free to walk around the classroom and help out. So that is the basics on how to get started on Google Slides for engagement. Check out the templates and your task will be to create your own Google Slides assignment for students that's engaging and submit it on the Jamboard so that we can look at it and you can be able to share ideas with other teachers. So thank you guys so much for watching and have fun in Google Slides. Bye!